This tutorial is an attempt to explain the workings of the Calvin cycle, or often referred to as a C3 pathway because the first product of the reaction is a 3-carbon molecule called PGA, or phosphoglycerate, or it's even referred to as a light independent reaction because light energy is not needed at this juncture. Recall that there are two major processes of photosynthesis. First we have the light reactions which produce the energy needed to make the sugars here in the Calvin cycle. This is a typical model of the Calvin cycle. Most students tend to get bogged down in the numbers. Here we see 6 and we end up seeing 12. In reality only one CO2 molecule will go through the pathway at a time. Researchers will represent the model with either 3 or 6 CO2's going through the cycle at a time because at this point here if only one CO2 goes through the uh, process we end up with fractions of the product. So for simplicity's sake we will show this having six CO2 molecules go through the, the cycle. The Calvin cycle will be broken up into three major stages. We have CO2 uptake, we have re carbon reduction, and we have RUBP regeneration. CO2 uptake. This is going to be a five carbon molecule called RUBP. CO2 represented by the green stars here are going to end up being incorporated into this molecule via the enzyme Rubisco. Rubisco stands for Rubulose bisphosphate carboxylase oxygenase. It will incorporate the CO2 into this 5-carbon RUBP. This will create a 6-carbon intermediate that is very unstable and it splits into two 3-carbon molecules of PGA or phosphoglycerate as shown here. Carbon reduction phase. In the light reactions ADP is phosphorylated to ATP and NADP plus will be reduced to NADPH. These two energy carriers are then sent to the Calvin cycle to deliver their payload. ATP will phosphorylate the first PGA and then NADPH will reduce that PGA. A second ATP will phosphorylate the PGA and then another NADPH will reduce that molecule. This produces two molecules of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate from one carbon dioxide. Those two molecules, the ATP that is now ADP, will return to the light reactions to be phosphorylated once again. The NADPH that is now NADP plus will return to the light reactions to be reduced once again. The previous reaction was produced from a single CO2 molecule. A single glucose molecule is produced from six CO2 molecules moving through the cycle individually. So remember, only one CO2 molecule enters the Calvin cycle at a time. It is best to show three or six CO2 molecules going through the cycle at once so that we get full products. Only fragments of the product are produced when a single CO2 molecule goes through the cycle. and it takes six complete turns of the cycle to make two glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate molecules for a single glucose. Thus far, CO2 uptake and carbon reduction from one CO2 molecule was simulated. We move from here to this point producing two molecules of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. The rest of the tutorial will simulate six CO2 molecules moving through the cycle. So step number one, all six RUBP molecules and six CO2 molecules are catalyzed by Rubisco.
This produces unstable intermediates that will split into two molecules of PGA. So now we have our 12 molecules of uh, PGA from six CO2 molecules. Each one of these will now be phosphorylated by ATP and reduced by NADPH. So 12 ATPs will heat, hit each of the 12 PGA molecules. And then each of the phosphorylated PGAs will be reduced by an NADPH. Phosphates are removed and 12 NADP plus go to the light reactions. The ATPs and NADPHs will return to the light reactions to be recharged. This now produces 12 molecules of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, two of which will be used to produce a sugar. So we are at this juncture right here. Two of these molecules of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate are going to end up being used to produce a sugar. The remaining 10 molecules will then rearrange themselves into 6 molecules of ribulose phosphate. The 6 ribulose uh, phosphates will then be phosphorylated by ATP to regenerate ribulose bisphosphate. RUBP. So the 10 molecules of G3P are then going to be rearranged by ribulose phosphate. ATP comes in and phosphorylates each one of those molecules and now we have regenerated RUBP. So the regeneration of RUBP is complete. A total of six CO2 molecules entered the cycle and two G3P were produced to make a single glucose. These five carbon molecules are now available to accept more CO2 and begin the cycle once again. As in what we see right here.